Hi, I'm Bob Miller, uh, Color Services Manager here at IT Supplies. And today, we're gonna make your life easier by showing you the Epson plugin for Adobe Photoshop. So if you're an Epson user, stand by to learn a few new details about the latest software plugin. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Epson's uh, plugin for Adobe Photoshop. The reason this is key is it puts all of the tools that you're gonna need uh, to print a beautiful print right at your fingertips. So let's get right down to it. We're going to the software and here we are in Photoshop. I've already opened an image, uh, Jellyfish, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and open the plugin right now. Normally, we would have to go through the file print menu of Adobe Photoshop, and you might have different areas where you need to click on, and if you forget to check a box, you know, I think most of you have probably been through that. Uh, the nice thing about the Epson tool, which we're gonna go to, we're gonna go under File, we're gonna go Automate, we're gonna go to Epson Print Layout. The nice thing about this tool is it brings all of the things that you need to look for into one easy to view screen. <clears throat> you can also set up presets here. So if you have a common preset that you use for a gallery wrap or something, that can actually uh, be saved and recreated over and over again. So here's the screen with the Epson print layout. And right at the top, this is that preset that I was talking about. Um, before I click on that, let's just go through. Right now we're set up to go to the new uh, P8570D um, that we have in our showroom. Uh, I selected uh, premium luster photo paper, but as you can see, you've got, uh, if you've installed the Epson driver correctly, you'll have all of the Epson medias uh, available at your fingertips with their profiles. Uh, you select your paper size, um, the paper source in this case is going to be roll. And here is something very important. You have choices between speed, quality, high quality, max quality. This might change a little. Usually we go toward the high quality or the max quality if we're printing something uh, like a canvas print. So, um, so the layout settings, uh, pretty familiar, you know, uh, standard layout, landscape, if I want to scale it to fit, the types of margins. Um, so everything that you need right here. I'm going to now go to my preset for the gallery wrap. So I'm going to go to the top and I, I've already created a 20 by 32 preset. So here we are. Um, the nice thing is that it saved uh, the type of quality I want. Uh, it, it's got the gallery wrap feature selected. We're on the 44 inch roll of media. My canvas size is pre-saved as 20 by 32. I can choose how, uh, what canvas bars I'm using and what size. So I can change, as you can see right here, the depth. Um, and I can also choose to mirror the edges. Uh, I can do a soft focus, which is kind of nice. Um, or you can choose from other options as well for the wrap image, wrap soft focus, etc. Or just a solid color. So in this case, I've gone through, I've set all my settings, and now it's just simply a matter of hitting print and we're off to the races. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back next month with uh, some new videos uh, to highlight some additional features. Thanks so much.